to point P moves such that it is always the same distance from point Q and R. Okay, so we have P. So P, so it's given in the equation that PQ is equal to PR. Same distance, right? Okay, this one. So point F moves such that its distance from point T is always 5 unit. So we know that this one S from T, 5 unit. Okay. The locus of point P and the locus of point S intersect at two point. Okay, so we know that P and S intersect the locus. Okay, so A, find the equation of locus at point P. So we know here that PQ is equal to PR, right? Where the equation, where the point Q is 8, 7 and our R is 11, 4. So the distance is represented by the distance of X square, which is X. We know that P is XY. So, x minus x square plus y minus this one is y square is equal to, so this one is x minus 11 square plus this one is y minus 4 square. So, we can eliminate the third by squaring both sides. So, here we get x minus 8 square plus y minus 7 square is equal to, so this one we get x minus 11 square plus y minus 11 4 square so now we can expand this one so this one we get x square 2 times negative 8 times x we get minus 16 x 8 square we get 64 and then y square we get this one y square 2 times negative 7 times y we get minus 14 y 7 square we get 49 is equal to so this one x square 2 times negative 11 times x we get minus 22x 11 square we get 1 2 1 so here we get y square plus y square so 2 times negative 4 times y we get minus 8y and then 4 square we get 16 so you see we have x square at both sides we can just cancel out so we have y square at both sides why i just cancel out because we know that we have y square right when we bring to the other side it will become minus y so y minus y square y square minus y square is basically zero that's why you can just cancel out so you see here so i want to bring everything else to the left so here i have negative 16x right here so I want to bring negative 22x, bring to the other side, it will become positive 22x. Okay, this one, done. And then we have, we have, we have y, right, minus 14y. So here at this side, we have y, minus 8y, bring to the other side, become positive 8y. And then we have the number, which is 64. So we have plus 64, and here plus 49. And on this side, we have 121, bring to the other side, minus 21. Positive 16, bring to the other side, minus 16 is equal to 0. So negative 16 plus 22x, we get 6x. So minus 14y plus 8y, we get minus 6y. And this one, 64 plus 49, minus 1 to 1, minus 16 we get negative 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. So we can see that everything can be divided with 6, right? So divide with 6, divide with 6, divide with 6, we get x minus y. So this one is minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is equation of locus P. So here, locus P, x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. B show that the locus of point S is this one. Okay, so here we know that S from T is 5 unit. So here our T is 7, 8. So we know the distance is 5 unit. So basically we know that the distance of X square plus the distance of Y square is equal to 5. So the distance of X square is X minus 7. This one is X. Because we know that our S is XY. So that's why distance X is we minus 2X. And then distance y, we minus the 2y, which is y minus 8 square. Right? So we can bring set to the right side. So here we have x minus 7 square plus 
y minus 8 square is equal to 5 square. We can expand this one. So x square 2 times negative 7 times x, we get minus 14x. 7 square, we get 49. y square 2 times negative 8 times y, we get minus 16y. And then 8 square, we get 64 is equal to 25. So here, we get x square plus y square. So I raise square and square. So I have minus 14x. This one is minus 16y. And then we are left with 49 plus 64. So 25 bring to the left hand side. Minus 25 is equal to 0. So this one x square plus y square minus 14x minus 16y. So 49 plus 64 minus 25 is equal to 88. So this one is plus 88 is equal to 0. So we can see show that this one x square plus y square minus 14x minus 16y plus 88 is equal to 0. So this one shown, right? C, find the coordinates of the intersection point of the two loci. So here we see we have P. So x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. And another one we have x square plus y square minus 14x minus 16y plus 88 is equal to 0. This is the first one and this one is the second one. You can see that this one is the simultaneous equation. So from the first one, we can get the value of x. x is equal to we bring y and 4 to the other side, y plus 4. So this one is 3. So we substitute 3 into 2. So we substitute this one, we become y plus 4 square plus y square. You see, I substitute x. This is one is another x. This one is minus 14. This one is y plus 4. Okay, so this one is minus 16y plus 88 is equal to 0. So when I expand this, get y square, 2 times 4 times y, we get 8y, 4 square, 16, plus y square. This one is minus 14y. Uh, 14 times 4, 28 times 2, minus 56. So this one is minus 16y, plus 88 is equal to 0. So here y square plus y square is 2y square. Right? So 8y, so I have 8y minus 14y, so here we get 6, negative 6y, so then with y. Oh, I have another y here which is minus 16, never mind, just write it here first. Okay, so the number we have, plus 16, minus 56 and plus 88 is equal to 0. So here we get 2y square, negative 6y minus 16, we get minus... 22y and this one 16 minus 56 plus 88 48 so here we get plus 48 is equal to 0 so we can divide everything with 2 we get y square minus 11y plus 24 is equal to 0 so we can see that 24 is actually 8 times 3 so here we get negative, right? And this one is positive, which means that negative. So negative, negative. So this one is 8 and 3. This one is y minus 8, y minus 3. So y is equal to 8 and y is equal to 3. So here when y is equal to 8, x is equal to 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. So the first coordinate is 12, 8. And then when y is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7. So this one is 7, 3. So the coordinates of the intersection points, so we have these two coordinates. <laughs>